Hey, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ranjan, and this is fourth video of object detection playlist. I already have uploaded three videos of object detection in my object detection playlist. In this first video, I have covered how object detection works and what are the algorithm and what is object detection. In second video, I have uploaded what are the pre-trained models that we will use in detecting the objects in the images and in my last video which was third video in this video i have shown the steps to create a virtual environment on which we will work with the object detection algorithms so in my this video i will show you how we will detect the objects in the images and i will show you the code and i will explain each and every line of the code so let's start this video without wasting any further time so first i will open my anaconda prompt and in this i will activate my environment which i have created in my last video if you have not watched this video just have a look in this video i have shown you the steps to create a virtual environment and to download object detection algorithm supporting documents so first i will Activate my TensorFlow environment and here from I will open Jupyter Notebook and from here I will open my folder which is TFOD underscore YouTube and in my last video I have shown you where from to download this folder if you have not downloaded this folder just have a look on the description of this video so open that folder and open models research and here from here you have to open object detection saved model okyt so there are two files you need to click on this file so just click on this file in which okyt so this is the file i will explain you each and every line what is happening in this so first of all i will show you what are the images that on which i will be using object detection so this is the folder in which i have stored four images you can store number of images as many you want so this is my folder in object detection and test images so i will be running my model on this images and it will give me the objects and data set i am using coco data set which is ms coco data set and that data set have 90 classes so i will be using those 90 classes i am importing basic libraries it's nothing more and here these are the loggings if i want to enable logging i just need to comment these things but i don't need logging so i am disabling it so this is for just logging i am disabling the logs here if you are seeing any error if you are facing any issue but you are not able to understand so you need to comment these two lines so you can see the logs where exactly the error is coming and this is i am just want to use my gpu so that's why i am enabling my gpu to run this so i'm using version 2.3.1 so this is the my image path which i am creating a new variable in image path i am storing all the images image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 so these are the image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 so you can use any other method which you want you can directly give the folder here or you can specify the all files here and i will see what i have stored my image path so yeah it has stored correctly and now path to labels so this is where my labels are stored i will show you so object detection in data i have label this is ms coco labels so i will show you how it looks like so it has 90 labels hair dryer toothbrush so it has 90 classes so these are the labels it is stored into a xml structure xml type structure but it has a different format which is pbtxt so it has a tensorflow format so here i am mentioning my path to labels then after i am importing time and i am importing some libraries which already exist in this folder so from object detection i have utils and from the utils i am importing two functions label map util and visualization utils so what it will do it will just give me a image with a object detection boxes so i have imported this if you are facing any error in this so that mean you have not watched my third video in which i have shown you the steps to import each and everything here i am mentioning my paths of the model in this video i am using ssd mobile net so this is the pre-trained model ssd mobile net so in object detection folder i have model as well 
so here i have many models i will be exploring each and every model in my further videos so here i am using ssd mobile net here it is so in this folder i have my saved model now in next step i will load that model into some variable so i want to see like how much time it is taking so i have used start time and then end time then i will subtract the time which it took then i will create new variable which would be my detect fn detect function so it will detect so in this i am using tf which is tensor flow and save model method and load in this i will load my model which i have stored into this variable path to save model so here i am just using serving default signatures and here i will run this so it will show me this is the start time and it will take some time to save that model into this variable still running so it took uh, 17 seconds almost and this is done so my this variable has been created so now i will use category index so in this it will store each and every category which are I have shown you in the notepad 90 categories it will store into some structure here I am using label map util which is which the library we have created a function it's a function which I have imported from here so label map util and in label map util I have a method which is create category index from label map so it will create a category index from the label map that we have pbtxt format so it will create a category index from that map format so here I am defining my path which is path to labels and use display name as it is so it will create category index and it will look like this so it has all 90 categories so now what I have to do I have four images so I have to convert each image into numpy array as I have already shown you in multiple videos that in image we have a three channels RGB and in each channel we have a pixel so in each pixel we have some information we have some value so that value is looks like a array if you not know about this thing you can watch this video computer CV open CV in this you will see how image is formed how image looks like so in this what it will do I am creating a function here which will load my image into numpy array so basically it will convert my image into numpy array so here I am doing nothing just I am returning np numpy dot array and the which image it's stored into this variable so it will just convert my image into numpy array and these are some basic libraries nothing more and here I am running a loop what I am doing here in image path I have multiple images I have taken four images here only this is a variable which will store each image and it will run for one image then it will show so basically these are the lines which will give me output but to explain this I will explain you each and every line what each line is doing so first I will show you by running simply this so you will see like I'm running inference for object detection test image image one so it is testing it is doing inference on image one so inference means applying the model knowledge on that so let's see how much time it took so it has done so these are the four images that I have used here so in each image it has applied some boxes with some percentage and class name so let's start from here so first it's nothing it's I'm printing that I'm running inference for image path that means image one so we have four images so first images will go into image path then after what I am doing I am creating new variable which is image np and here I am using function which I have created in the earlier step so what it will do it will convert my image into numpy array and image path it will be this so first image will be converted into image np then after I have to convert that numpy image into tensorflow array so 
I will use TF dot convert to tensor. So it will convert that NumPy image into tensor. So now it will be input tensor. So my image will be stored into input tensor. And here I would have a batch of images, number of images. So each image I will give a new axis. This input tensor has my image, first image. On that image, I will apply my function which I have created by loading my saved model into that variable. So it is function on input tensor. I am applying detect fn which I have created earlier. So now my all details will be stored into detections. So detection would be a dictionary. So it has four things. In this step, I will show you what are the things which are coming in detection. I will show you first. I will comment it out. Otherwise you will confuse. So I have run till this point. It will print what are the items in the detection key. So first it has run for image one. So it is showing that in detections it is a dictionary. And what are the keys? Num detection, detection boxes, detection scores and detection class. So num detection basically means what are the number of the classes in the image, a single image. And detection boxes, these boxes these are the detection boxes so what are the coordinates of the detection boxes so that information will be stored into detection boxes and detection score basically it means a percentage how much surety is that this belongs to this class so that would be a detection score and detection class would be that was this 75 76 so basically it, it would show a number so if you will see in this each image will produce a detection dictionary in which there would be four things. Now the thing is that how we have to collect that information and we have to represent this in graph. First I will uncomment. So here I have explained till this point. Now I have to separate number of detection in some variable so that I can print it out. So I will use pop so it will remove the num detection and it, it will save into this point. Now I am showing print the number of objects in the image. So it will show me that in a single image how many objects are there. Now I will show you one more thing. What are the items? How many things are in detection dictionary? So now you will see there would be a multiple detection boxes. If you will see there are many detection boxes. This is the one box this is the second box this is the third box and here you will see there are many box some are zero coordinates as well so what we have to do we have to remove the overlapping box because many box would be resembling into a single category so for remove that what i will do i will create a single boundary box for each class because suppose I will give you example. Suppose this is a dog. By seeing the face, model would be resembling into a dog. By seeing the legs, model would be saying it is a dog. By seeing a tail, by seeing a fur. So multiple features are resembling into a dog. So we have to find whole image into a one category. So to do that, what we have to do, I will apply dictionary comprehension. So here I will use key and value and in value I will start from zero and go to that point. What are the number of detection in the image? So it will suppose in first image I have six detections. So it will run from zero to six point. So it will create only six box, six boundary boxes. Till this point I will show you after converting how my detection items would look like. I will run this again. So I will comment it out otherwise it will make confused yeah so earlier you have seen that there were many detection boxes but after applying that thing you will see I have only six boxes because it has only six objects you will see this is the first box this is the coordinates of the first box this is the coordinates of second box this is the coordinate of third fourth fifth sixth here I am showing you complete dictionary which is 
detections so in detection it is a dictionary and it is showing you detection item first is detection boxes and here we have coordinates of six boxes and second item of dictionary is detection score so for class 1 it is 98% 85% 80% 59% 41% and third thing is detection classes 18 18 1 1 1 1 and it is showing me that what is the d type data type float 32 and the fourth is num detection which we already have and we have inserted at the last point in this you will see detection num detection would be equal to num detection and what are the classes in the image are 18 18 1 1 1 and here I am printing done so it has completed for first image so again it would do for second image third image and so on so at this point I have shown you that I I got print of the classes is image are detection from detection classes so it will give me result now I have to convert into the classes are into float so I have to convert into int to remove that decimal so I have done this now it's about visualization how we apply the results on the image so to do that I am using viz utils dot visualize boxes and labels on the image array it is a function that we have already created in the utils file so in this I will use image underscore NP so that image would be my original image if you will see this is my original image so I am using my original image on which I will use all the results in which first would be my detection detection boxes and third would be detection classes and then detection scores so this is the items that we have captured from the detection dictionary and here I am using my category index and here I have used normalized coordinates because I have coordinates for each box so I am using here normalized coordinates equal to true and what are the maximum boxes to draw on a single image so here I am taking 200 value you can take any value and min score threshold here I am specifying 0 0.30 and agnostic mode equal to false so basically false means if I will use true here so it will give me only single color for each box but here I am using false so it will give me different color for each box so agnostic mode equal to false and here I am specifying the size of the image that it will show and here I am using show image NP and done nothing so if I will run this so you will see I will get the results on each image so the experiment that you can do with this coding you can try on multiple images you can try any other label map here I am using MS Coco in this I have many label map I will show you you can use any label map file here we have multiple label map file you can use that thing and here I have used SSD mobile net you can use any other model and so category index would be other if you're using any other label map you can use any one here so you can apply all experiments here and you can play with this code and you can run each and every line what this line is doing and you can try with yourself and if you are facing any difficulty in this code or you are facing any difficulty while creating environment or setting the object detection in your local machine you can try with google collab as well i will explain how we will try in google collab in my next video so that's all in this particular video and I hope I am able to explain you this topic with good clarity. If you really think this video is more of good explanation, so I am expecting your feedback and your like on this video. For any suggestion, doubts, feel free to let me know by posting the comment. Your such gestures really keeps me motivated to upload videos more frequently. So do share this video with your friends and colleagues. So don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos in your inbox. So see you all in the next video. Till then, goodbye, enjoy, happy learning. Keep rocking.